back to Monday with Monique. Here we are back, Mondays with Monique, and Scott Harvey's here cooking up some beautiful lamb burgers. I'm going to tilt the pan just so that we can see what's happening in there. You can see the parsley in there. These, all these things add flavor to the lamb and kind of tone down that, that stronger uh, uh, lamb kind of character. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So we'll let that cook for a little bit, and are we on to wine number two? We're on to wine number two, okay. which is the second one over. Here you go, Scott. Okay. This is another Zinfandel, and again, this is, you'll see from, let me pour you first. Oh, aren't you such a gentleman, thank you. And, uh, and again, notice the color isn't black. Zinfandel mm -hmm. does not have to be black. It has to be layered. This is from the oldest documented Zinfandel vineyard in America. And a lot of people will say they have wine from older vineyards, and they may be older, mm -hmm. but they have no documentation. I see. And so this vineyard has a document with it mm -hmm. that uh, that says that it was it was growing in 1869. Wonderful. And Zinfandel, when when the old vine Zinfandel that necessarily isn't heavier, mm -hmm. it's just again more layered. Say this is your your. Uh, uh, your ground level, this is your vine and this is your root system. Mm -hmm. This vineyard goes down 25, 30 feet. Wow. And each layer of soil gives the wine another dimension. Right? And so that's that's okay. the unique thing about old vines. And Are we okay on temperature here? Just how you yeah, like it, it looks a little high. Okay. I don't know how you, oh, oh there it is right there. there. What okay. do you think about that? Is that a little better? Yeah, let's turn it down there. Okay, okay there we go. Right. Okay, well, let's flip these over. Okay. And then we'll get... Um, We'll get, woo, yeah, it is, it's cooking pretty good. Yeah, that was um, one really effective and, uh, So what goes with lamb burgers is tzatziki sauce. Mm -hmm. And again, Jana and I love to make this. And it starts with a base of yogurt. Mm -hmm. And we have a spoon here mm -hmm. for it. Either one. Oops. We have the top on it. Mm -hmm. About two cups of, of fresh yogurt, just regular yogurt, not flavored or... Right. or uh, sweetened so you start with that this is about two and a half cups so so we'll uh we won't need the Thank rest you. of that and then in the tzatziki sauce goes another uh half of a medium onion mm -hmm. again not cooked and then your garlic again about a tablespoon of garlic All right. in this case and then uh um you have cucumber so this is uh, this is cucumber that has been uh, you uh, peeled it and then just it's just cut into small sections. Okay. And then lemon juice. So we have a little lemon. Oh, isn't that the cutest little gadget? Okay. I we love use it. this all I the love time. That. <laughs> and at our home in uh, in Saint Helena, Napa Valley, mm -hmm. it doesn't get quite as cold here, so we've we've got our own lemon tree out there. Oh, that, uh, fabulous. Fresh, fresh lemon juice. I love that little gadget. That is yeah. very nifty. You can get it uh, here in Jackson at the local kitchen store. Yeah. And, uh, and you're um, associated with the kitchen store, right? By? My son-in-law is part of the family that uh, owns the kitchen store. Okay. And, and, uh, and uh, um, they, we get all our stuff there. It's great. Oh, that's fabulous. But, uh, Okay, and then you have to you have to uh, season this. Okay. So I'm you season this tzatziki to uh, with salt and pepper to taste to whatever you like. Mm -hmm. And I think we should turn this off. Okay, we're off. And we're okay there. So salt and pepper. If you don't want the black pepper in there, white pepper works just as fine. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we like this. Uh, Kosher or sea salt? Sea, sea salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks amazing. And there we go. So that's your tzatziki sauce. And these recipes, again, are on our website, scottharveywines.com. Mm -hmm. And just go on there and click on recipes. And there's many, many recipes for different wines to go with each wine that we make. Well, it looks wonderful. So what's happening now at the Tasting Room in Sutter Creek? That's how most of us obtain our wines unless we're part of the wine club. 
Right. So anything new and happening? You have a great staff there. Oh we, my gosh, boy, lovely, lovely staff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're so fortunate to have such great people to work with, and mm -hmm. and uh, um, they just they they they're really uh, excited about the wines, and they do such a great job getting our stories across and how the they wines do. are made, and mm -hmm. and uh, and then they. They're so good with the local people. I mean, I they just, uh, everybody loves Kelsey's to come there. Kelsey's just a dear. I just love her. She's just so wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's great. Good. And uh, um, uh, the tasting room is open uh, every day except for uh, Wednesday and Thursday, right? Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday mm -hmm. from 11 to... To five. 11 to 5, yeah. and it's at 79 Main Street. And uh, We used to be neighbors at the yeah. Fox's Inn, so right, right next to the Fox's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Yeah. Well, let's plate it up and try it out. Yeah, okay, so let's uh, we'll start with our, our buns. Okay. Now, normally your, uh, your, your uh, buns you can also grill if, mm -hmm. you're, if you're doing this on a grill. I'll hold that for you. And then what I like to do, and eat, a lot of people like to eat them just as regular hamburgers mm -hmm. with... Uh, um, with a, a lettuce and tomato and onion mm -hmm. or, or cheeseburgers if they want to put some cheese on it. Okay. And they have the tzatziki sauce on the side and they'll dip their hamburger in the tzatziki sauce. But I, I like to put the tzatziki sauce right on oh, top. Oh, yeah, that sauce looks fabulous. Right. That's, that's what just, I would do too. Nice generous just, uh, portion. Yeah. yeah. And then put the other one on top. And okay. There you go. There you go. Put that on there. Oh my goodness. I'm going to cut it in half and then we're going to try it. How does that okay, sound? Okay, so okay. Amador County lamb with, uh, um, here we go. Here's a, a knife. Oh, thank you, you so one. much. Got it. With Amador County wine. And then tell me about the 1869. What do you taste in that wine? How would you describe it? This wine has more uh, coffee, a little bit of, of, of uh, licorice. Mm -hmm. uh, again, many more things happening in the wine because the vineyard's so much older and the root system is so much deeper. Mm -hmm. uh, the vineyard for this is uh, the Bowman Vineyard in the Shenandoah Valley, and Bowman Vineyard was planted in 74, where this was 1869, uh, and so, um, you know, I won't call a wine old vine if, if I can remember when it was planted. All right, um, right. Even though 74 was quite a while ago. Now, we want to take a look at that wonderful lamb burger there. If we can get close on that. You can see it's cooked to perfection. It's slightly pink in the center, just the way you'd want it cooked. Nice and browned on the outside, the tzatziki sauce over the top. And just a nice, looks like a little kaiser bun with sesame seed. Right. Beautiful, nice presentation. But now... We're going to have to ruin the presentation and try it, which is my favorite part. So, would you like to grab a half and then uh, I'll try some too? This is the best part of the show. Yeah. Mm. You know what? You know that first bite of food mm. tastes great. Mm -hmm. Second bite tastes pretty good. Third bite doesn't taste like the first bite anymore. True. But properly made wine, all the acid in that wine is mm. just washing those fats out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. So that when you take the next bite, it's like taking the first bite again. And that's what wine's all about. And mm. when you match it to local cuisine, local lamb, you're in the best. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. Mm, very nice. I love your recipe. For me, the tzatziki totally makes it unique, but also just a nice cool um, yogurt with nice hot burger. Just mm -hmm. a fabulous, fabulous combination. And you're right about the wine. I just totally went poof, you know, and the flavor comes right, right. out after. And mm -hmm. the cucumber in there is nice and fresh, you know, because lamb really needs something green to mm -hmm. go along with it. Yep, I definitely agree. Yeah. Well, we have the tasting room at 79 Main Street. Anything else we want to get across to the viewers and let them know about Scott Harvey Wines? Jan is yelling at me about That's something. Okay. But go ahead. Go ahead and say something, Jan. Well, locals night. Oh, oh Locals, oh, locals night. night. Yeah. And it's, it's every okay. third Thursday mm -hmm. of every month at the tasting room. And, you, and sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't, but uh, uh, it's a great time. And, uh, and the locals, I mean, re it really is fun to get together that with everybody. That is a great time. And, mm -hmm. I've and, been uh, before and really, really yeah, enjoyed Muffin it. Yeah, Muffin in the tasting room has developed that, and, and it's just great. And Kelsey gets right along with oh, her. Oh, I love Muffin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wonderful. 
Yeah. yeah. Um, it, we can taste them if you want. Mm -hmm. Show them. Oh, sure. oh, okay. Let me bring some over. So we we brought four <laughs> bottles of wine today. Not that we were going to drink all four of them, but uh, we figured you know might as well see them. Amador County does very very good with three varieties, especially Barbera, Zinfandel in Syrah. Mm -hmm. And some of the wineries in the, in the area uh, will specialize more in one than in the other. Um, and uh, uh, our biggest seller is Zinfandel, of course, but our biggest growing wine in the, is the Barbera. And Amador County is becoming known as the best Barbera region in the world. Fabulous. I'm and, glad uh, we're known for uh, it. Uh, even better than where Barbera comes from in Piedmonte. Because uh, Barbera, Piedmonte is a fog uh, region in mm -hmm. Italy, and the best variety in that region is named after the fog, Nebbiolo. Mm -hmm. And Barbera is the second best variety there because it's a sun-loving variety. Mm -hmm. Then when you take a Barbera and you transport it to another foothill region against a very young growing mountain range, which is what the Sierra is in the Piedmont up, up against the Alps, mm -hmm. you have it now in a sun-loving region, so it actually does better here than in Italy. Well, fabulous. And uh, I look forward in, uh, uh, to, uh, to the Barberas of this region, and really I think we will be known as the best Barberas in the world. Well, that's time. really exciting. Amador County is such a wonderful wine region. We have to be known for lots of good things. Of course. And with good things comes another quick commercial break. We'll be right back, so stay tuned with us. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. Well, we're back again, Mondays with Monique. We've had a fabulous time with Scott Harvey, his delicious wines, and wonderful cooking skills. That is top-notch Lamberger, but the tzatziki really, really does make that dish. So thank yeah. you for sharing that with us. Oh, well, you're welcome. And for taking time out of your busy day. I'm sure you're a very busy man, so we really appreciate you doing that. Yeah. Um, you wanted to tell me a little bit about wine on Main Street and yeah. the patio? You know, Sutter Creek is a great place to go wine tasting. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it's nice to be in an area where you don't have to drink and drive mm -hmm. and where you can eat and drink sure. and so forth. So, you know, Sutter Creek is full of beautiful bed and breakfasts. It's got, it's growing with its restaurants and it now has uh, seven, eight tasting rooms there. Mm -hmm. And you can just spend the whole weekend there and, spend, and uh, spend the night and just go around and leisurely taste the, the wines from the tasting so rooms, go to the antique shops yep. and the other stores. Wine on Main is when? Wine, wine on Main is the name of the organization okay. of all the tasting rooms that, that are together. We're going to have to wrap it up, so make sure that you stop into Scott Harvey Wine Tasting, enjoy the back patio, and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thanks for watching.